YouTube, what is up? Right now we're going to talk about all the new bugs that are available to be caught in Animal Crossing New Horizon in the month of July. Now this month is going to be a busy month for bugs. There are 21 new bugs that you can catch this month. So let's hop right into it. We're going to go through all of them. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of beetles to catch, so prepare yourselves. Uh, first up, though, is the grasshopper. This bug is caught on the ground, and it is caught July through September, so you have a little bit of time to catch it. This bug is caught in the middle of the day, as you can see, from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Really, these should not be difficult to catch. They're slower moving than the locusts, and, you know, they're, they're a pretty common bug. Next up, we have the brown cicada. Now, a lot of the cicadas are going to have the same seasonality and active hours, but we're going to go through them. The first one is the brown cicada. As you can see, July and August is when you can catch it. And you can catch it from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., excuse me. Now, if we go to the next cicada, the robust cicada, this cicada, again, same seasonality, July and August, and also same active hours from 5, or sorry, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. The next one is the giant cicada. Again, same seasonality, July and August, and it is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, all of the cicadas are caught on trees they're just you know around you'll see them sitting on the trees just like some of the moths and stuff so that's where you look for the cicadas uh, the next cicada that is available in july or starting in july um, is the evening cicada it is available july and august the evening cicada has a slightly different active hours than the other cicadas it is from 4 a.m till 8 a.m and then again from 4 p.m till 7 p.m so smaller windows of availability to catch them but, you know, if you just pay attention, you'll eventually find one. I really didn't have much trouble with any of the cicadas. The next one up is the cicada shell, which is actually um, the molt of the cicada. When the cicada grows, it sheds its, its shell and it leaves it on the tree. So you can actually find these. You can run around your island. These don't scare. It's, it's literally a shell, so it doesn't go anywhere. But it is on the tree, just like the cicada. It is available all day long. Um, and it does appear again July through August. So this one did take me a while, but you know I think you'll find one if you just kind of pay attention and you know keep your eye out for it. I don't think it'll be too terribly, uh, sorry, challenging to get one. Next up we have the blue weevil beetle. Uh, this bug is available July through August. It's a pretty common trend. A lot of these bugs in this month are, have this same seasonality. Uh, this beetle is available all day long and this one is caught on palm trees. I think this was the most difficult bug for me to catch uh, this month. So definitely, you know, keep your eye out for it. It took me a good while to uh, find one of those. Next up, we have the Earth Boring Dung Beetle. Seasonality for this is July through September and it is available all day long. Uh, this particular beetle is actually found on the ground. So just keep an eye out for it uh, walking around. I found these to be somewhat common. They weren't incredibly difficult to find. Uh, there's definitely much more difficult bugs to find uh, as we get into the stags and stuff. But that one, not too bad. The scare beetle, this one actually was challenging for me to catch. Um, it is available July and August. Again, you'll see that trend throughout. And really the biggest challenge with this one is that it's available so late at night. So it becomes available at 11 p.m. and it, it stays available until 8 a.m. So you will have to play later at night to catch this beetle. Um, and this one is caught on trees. So keep your eye out on the trees for this. It's not a very big beetle, so definitely make sure you're paying attention uh, for the scare beetle. Next up, we have the saw stag. Saw stag is caught on trees. It is available July and August, and it is available all day long. Uh, you're probably going to catch a lot of saw stags while trying to catch uh, all the stags and the bigger beetles this month. These are these are probably the most common stag um, out there. So you will catch a bunch of those. Next up, we have the Miyama stag. Again, this is very similar to the saw stag. You're probably going to catch a good amount of these as they are available all day long and they have the same seasonality of July through August. These are also caught on the trees, just like pretty much all the beetles that we're going to talk about from here on out. Next up, we have the giant stag. The giant stag is available July and August. 
and it has the same availability hours as the scarab beetle. So when you're looking for a scarab beetle, make sure you're paying attention for a giant stag. And again, those hours are 11 p.m. until 8 a.m. Uh, this one is pretty large, right? It's a giant stag, makes sense. It is pretty large on the tree, um, so keep your eye out for it. It doesn't have to be a coconut tree for this one, from what I remember correctly. Um, so just keep your eye out on all the trees. Some of the stags are, are coconut or palm tree, coconut tree specific. Not all of them are. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you can't find one on a palm tree, you know, make sure you're checking some of the other trees too. After the giant stag, we have the cyclomatis stag. Now, from what I recall trying to catch this bug is that it actually was somewhat jumpy. Uh, I had to really sneak up on it to catch it. I think I spooked a few before I caught it. Uh, but again, you can see seasonality, July and August. And this bug be is available from 5 p.m. until 8 a.m. So pretty big window, but a lot of the stags have this uh, active hours. So the good news is, is that when you're looking for one stag, you can pretty much be looking for all of them at once, um, which makes it a little bit easier to find them. After the cyclomatis stag, we have the golden stag which again, same seasonality, July and August, and the same active hours as the previous stag of 5 p.m. until 8 a.m. Again, keep your eye out on trees. I believe the golden stag is palm tree specific. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm doing that off the top of my head. Um, from when I caught it, I believe I did catch the golden stag on a palm tree. So most of these stags do spawn on palm trees, so I would focus most of your time there. If you do wanna know exactly where I caught them, I do have videos uh, for each individual bug on my channel if you are interested in checking those out. As we continue down the list, we have the giraffe stag, which is next. And again, it has the same seasonality of July and August and the same active hours of 5 p.m. till 8 a.m. Like the others, I caught mine on a palm tree this bug was also one of the ones that I spooked a couple times, so make sure you take it slow with the giraffe stag because I definitely scared a few of them off before I caught my first one. Next up, we have the horned dynastid, which is another big beetle. Uh, I think this one is somewhat common. I've caught a fair share of these. Uh, again, seasonality, July and August, and the same active hours of 5 p.m. until 8 a.m. Again, keep your eye on palm trees. Shouldn't have a problem catching with this one. I actually think this one might be able to be caught on any tree from what I recall. Um, not 100% sure on that, but definitely keep your eye out on the palm trees. That's where most of these will be found. Next up, we have the Horned Atlas. Again, same seasonality, July, August, and also the same active hours of 5 p.m. until 8 a.m. Um, you know, big, big stag, pretty easy to see. Biggest challenge with these is just making sure you don't scare them away because there's only so many palm trees and, you know, there's, only, there's a lot of stags to catch, so if you scare one off, you might wait a while before you find that specific species again. Next up, we have the horned elephant, which is, again, July and August, and the same active hours of 5 p.m. until 8 a.m. Again, it's convenient that all of those active hours are the same. There's also a downside in that there's so many bugs available during that time. Um, you know, when you're looking for a specific one, it sometimes might take you a little while. Next up, we have the horned Hercules. July and August is the seasonality, 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. is its availability, just like the rest of the bugs we've pretty much talked about. Uh, from what I recall in the Horned Hercules, I scared a few of these off. I definitely would recommend you creep up on these, take it a little slower. There were a few of these stags that, just for whatever reason, seemed to be a little bit spookier than the rest. So if I recall, it was the Horned Hercules, the Draft Stag, and I think the Cyclomatus that uh, for me, I scared a few of them off before I caught my first one. And the last two bugs that we're going to talk about are the walking stick and the walking leaf. First up, we have the walking stick. It is available July through November. Has much smaller or shorter active hours, I should say, from 4 p.m. Uh, or sorry, 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. And then again in the following morning from 4 a.m. until uh, 8 a.m. You will find the walking stick on trees, so keep an eye out on that or for them uh, on the trees. Um, really, the hardest part with this is just going to be, you know, being online during their active hours since it is a shorter window. Um, and the last new bug for July is the walking leaf, which again, July through September, this is available all day long. 
the walking leaf, you will see it on the ground and it will look like a uh, the little furniture leaf. So if there's just a furniture leaf on the ground um, that you didn't like shake a tree for, it's most likely a walking leaf. So make sure you catch it before you get too close and it walks away. Now, we just went through all the bugs. There's a ton of new bugs. Uh, let me know down in the comments which one of these 21 you have caught. Also, let me know which ones you're having trouble catching. It helps other people know which bugs are the most difficult to catch. And, you know, they can make sure they're really keeping an eye out for them. And lastly, if you all would please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And with that being said, good luck and I hope you all catch all these new bugs as fast as you can.